Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are having an amazing day. I hope your week has been also an amazing start and I hope you all are in good health. So today, you guys, in today's video, we're going to be decorating and styling my, my guest bathroom for spring. It's been a while since I shared that space with you all on the channel. So I wanted to come in there and just change it up. I have these shelves inside of that bathroom that I usually like to style up for the upcoming season. So I'm going to be doing that in today's video. So yeah, so before we get started with that video, we're going to be refreshing my master bedroom bedroom bedding for spring as well. One easy way that you can change out your bedroom look for the upcoming season is just by refreshing your bedding and changing out a few throw pillows. That's really simple and easy. And then it doesn't, um, if you already got the linen and everything at home, it doesn't cost you much at all. So thank you again to Brooklyn for sponsoring today's video. So we're going to be changing out the bedding in there. This is my bedroom is so cool tones. If you've been following me for a while, y'all know my bedroom is pretty much black and gray. So it's very cool tones in there. So I always try to use use some warmer tones to warm up the space by changing out and adding in some bold colors with my linens and things like that. So I like to play around with colors in my home, even though it's pretty neutral. I do like to add in pops of color here and there just to kind of see how it looks. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope it brings you some home decor inspiration. We are going to go into my bathroom and change that up after this, um, after this first segment of the video as well. So if this is your first time seeing me, welcome. My name is Trina. I share all things home decor on the channel. I also have I've recently been doing some gardening as well. So I have a gardening video coming up for you guys real soon. We're going to be redecorating my front porch. So stay tuned for that video as well. So yeah, so if you're not already subscribed, go ahead and hit that red subscribe button and become part of our decorating family. And to my, all of my beautiful subscribers, hey y'all, welcome back to the channel. Thank y'all for stopping by and watching another video. Okay, you guys, so let's get started. So Brooklyn has launched Brooklyn has launched several new colors for this spring, you guys. So I was so excited. I have their window pane she said and I also have a all white she said in Brooklyn but I wanted to try something with a little bit of color this year especially since my room is so uh, neutral with cool tones with grays and blacks I wanted something that's gonna warm it up this spring so I couldn't wait to try out there she said in the moss green Okay, guys, so before we continue on with today's video, I would like to thank today's sponsor, Brooklinen. So I've been working with Brooklinen for a while. So if you don't know anything about Brooklinen, they are a luxury sheet company, but they make home bedding that's affordable for everyday people. They have over a thousand five-star ratings and their sheets just get better with every wash. As I love to invest in my sleep, I, sleep is very important to me. So I really want something that's gonna be nice, that's gonna be soft, comfortable, and just gonna be, give me the best night's sleep that I can get. So I definitely recommend and checking out Brooklyn because their sheets are amazing. Not only are they made of good quality, but they last and they get better with each wash. So this is like probably my third set of Brooklyn and sheets and I definitely would not recommend anything to you guys if they wasn't good quality. Brooklyn and sheets are amazing and they are affordable. They are a fraction of the cost that you would pay for any other high-end sheet brands, which I absolutely love. The best part is that Brooklyn also has several, they introduce a lot of new colors for the spring. So I was so excited to test out their, some of the new colors so they they sent me out their course she set or their luxury course she set in moss green everything arrived really well the packaging is amazing on it so i got their course she set they also sent me out their duvet cover and then also you get all of the pillow cases and everything to it on their website like i said they have a ton of new colors that you can try out they also make the online shopping experience very easy, very simple to navigate through their website. You can choose whether you want, you can choose what kind of style bedding or type of bedding you want. I do believe that they have the satin, um, she said they have the core luxury she said and then I also think that they have a linen blend as well. So you can kind of choose whatever your personal preference is. I'm going to unbox everything or unpackage everything and then I am going to wash them and then I'm going to make the bed up. So make sure you guys check my discount code down in the description box below because so you can always save um, some money and save some coins on your uh, purchase as well. Get all of this cleaned and washed and then we're going to make the bed up. So yeah, so thank you to Brooklyn for sponsoring today's video.
How I like to make up my bed, I always start with my sheet set first. So my, my fitted sheet, my flat sheet, and then I add my everyday pillows to the back of the bed. And then I always put my decorative pillows um, on first or in the front of the bed just so I can kind of hide my everyday pillows. I love using this um, Moss Green by Brooklyn. It just adds a pop of warmth to the space and it adds a pop of color for spring. When you're decorating with um, cool tones like grays and blacks and things like that, I always try to find colors that are kind of add a little bit of warmth to the space to kind of warm up the room. So everything is not so cool toned. So I did go ahead and add in my duvet cover already. Now this quilt, I'm gonna finish off the look with this quilt. This quilt is not by Brooklinen, but I absolutely love it because it's soft, it has a velvety feel to it, and sometimes a little bit too hot at the um, in the middle of the night for the duvet. So I love to cuddle up with this little quilt instead. It's a lot more cooler. But to add in some decorative pillows, I'm just using my everyday pillows that I had lying around the house. Those pillows, I can't even remember where I got them from. Some of them I think are from, um, various stores like home goods and things like that so i'm just going to add in a pop of color with the ivory just to kind of add some contrast with the um, green bedding i think ivory and the pop of green go really well together Okay, you guys, so let's go ahead and style my bathroom. So I did end up doing this portion of the video the next day because I just didn't have enough time to do everything when I did my master bedroom um, refresh. So yeah, so this is my guest bathroom here. I did go ahead and start by adding in these artworks. I had these artworks for years. This one here you've seen in my dining room recently. I I added it in the bathroom here because I just wanted to try it out in here and I absolutely love how it's looking. And then this one here I had for many years as well. So I decided to add this one on this large wall over here about the door. So these are the shelves that I'm gonna be restyling with you all today. This is actually um, my second linen closet, but what I did was we removed the doors and then my husband just framed it out. And then we just, um, just kind of made it look a little bit more custom so that we can use them as open shelving instead of a linen closet. So I just have now, I usually have those storage baskets at the bottom, which I store extra tissues and paper towel in so we're gonna go ahead and get this space decorated and get it refreshed so I'm starting off by adding in some hand towels that I already own I got these from home goods last year it has like a real subtle light shade of green in it. it's kind of hard to tell on the camera but it has a really nice floral print and then it has like a really light shade of green so I'm gonna go ahead and add that to my um, towel holder I don't know about you guys, but I love to add in guest hand towels or paper towels into my bathroom so that guests can use as well. Cause I really don't like everybody using the same hand towel to dry off. So I got this decorative tissue box from Amazon. I had this one for years and I think they still have it available. What I usually do is I just take the paper towels from out of this box here and you can get these Kleenex paper towels from anywhere. And then I just remove them from out of the box and just uh, stack them inside of the paper towel holder. This little box you can use as a tissue holder for Kleenex and you can also use it for paper towel like I'm using it here but I just think that using functional decor in your bathroom that using decor in your bathroom that's not only functional but decorative also just makes your space look a little bit more custom and curated so I just love this little box if I have the link for it I'll have it linked down in the description box below
Next, I always like to add in a floral arrangement of some sort to my space. I just think that it just kind of brightens up the area, especially for the season. So since we're in spring, I'm using more of those pretty tulips that I got from Amazon. I had this ginger jar for years. I got this one from Home Goods. I love it because it looks more like a brass ginger jar to me. I have a large one and a smaller one, and then this is a smaller one that I'm adding to the bathroom. And then next, I always like to add in a scented candle. This scented candle is from Target. So let's continue on for the rest of the bathroom. We're gonna go ahead and style my open shelf. So I just have three shelves on this um, wall here. And I usually like to store all of my functional items that I would need for any kind of bathroom. So I have like my floss picks in one container. I have like some bath salts, some cotton balls, and I also have some cotton swabs. Now these containers that I'm using, I recently just added all this stuff to these containers. I had these containers lying, on, lying around the house. I did pick them up from Home Goods, as you can see at the bottom there, it was fairly inexpensive. When you're using stuff to decorate your bathrooms and your kitchens and stuff, use some of the items and containers that you already have laying around the house. It'll save you a lot of money. So these I had for years, so I was they were empty actually, so I decided just to use them here in my bathroom. So we're gonna go ahead and start styling these shelves up. So this is what I have going on so far on the very top shelves. I just added two of those jars and then I added in some folded bath towels as well. And then also gonna add in this scrub brush. I'm gonna add this to the little container that's gonna hold in my wash rags. So for the second shelf, I started to go ahead and add in some of my larger pieces. So there's no rhyme or reason, I just kind of do whatever looks good. So I wanted to add in these two vases. I had these for a while, I got these from Home Goods as well. And then I added more of those faux tulips that I got from Amazon. So I got this little gold bowl. I, you guys, have, I shared this with you all in a recent purchase or recent video. And I'm just using these to hold in my wash rags. So all I did was just take these wash rags and fold them up. I think it just makes it look a little more spa-like by adding your wash rags into a little container. And then I'm gonna take that scrub brush that I just showed you and I'm gonna add it to the top of the wash rags. So again, just adding in that functional pieces with your decor, it kind of gives you a really nice curated look. And then this is what we got going on so far. So I'm liking how everything is looking. These shelves are pretty deep, so I don't want to overcrowd. I'm just kind of putting in a few pieces of decor and then some of the functional items that we would need to um, use in the bathroom. And then on this bottom shelf, I'm gonna add in more of my folded hand towels. These are just some plain white hand towels or everyday towels that we use. And I'm gonna add in the rest of my jars here. These are the, just the ones with the cotton balls and some floss picks. And I felt like it needed something else in the corner here to the left. So I decided to add in this um, art piece that I got from Target. So this is the final look, you guys. So I did go ahead and add in a few wash rags to the very top of those bath towels just to kind of give it a little bit more um, dimension to it, to, the, to that top shelf. But this is the final look, you guys. I'm absolutely loving how everything has turned out. Um, it's pretty simple, but it also, um, kind of refreshes the space as well for spring. So yeah, and those baskets that I got down at the bottom, I got those from Home Goods many years ago. I absolutely love them. Those are a really good way to store your bath essentials, like your tissues and paper towels without them being seen. So absolutely love how everything has turned out. Okay, you guys, so that is it for today's video. I hope you all enjoyed it. I hope it brought you some home decor inspiration. So definitely stay tuned for some upcoming gardening videos because I really need to get out there and clean off my front porch. It is a hot mess. So make sure you stay tuned for those videos. We'll be having those videos coming up next week. So thank y'all so, so much for watching and I'll see you all in my next one. Bye.